Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zillia 2. Last time, after the game completely trolled me by having freaking Leia available in like six cities or something. Actually, it was like, what, 12, 13? It was ridiculous. We are finishing off what I assume is the ending of the side character stories with Mila. Servant of Maxwell. She serves herself? We've scoured the village tomes and oral histories, but unfortunately, no definitive version of that story seems to have survived. I love how, like, uncomfortable, like, you, you just are like, I'm gonna stand here awkwardly. Because whenever you have that stance where one hand is gripping the other wrist, that is, that is not a confident stance. Forgive me, Lady Mila. I have failed you. It's okay. Thanks for trying. If anything comes up, let me know. Did you need something? I mean, I kind of just heard that we didn't. Ah, uh, that. I've been pursuing several different leads, but so far none of them has led to reliable information. Well, they're not very good leads. They're more like follows. One thing that does ring true is that the people of Neokara are Kresnik's descendants. So we can sacrifice one of them instead of me. According to local legend, Neokara was settled by Kresnik's descendants. So, which of the people in your village is the like most criminal? That's why there's a shrine to Maxwell here, and why the people still practice old-fashioned spirit worship. If the Fracture Dimension Aska was telling the truth about the previous Maxwell. Ooh, hey, that's actually a good point. We can go into Fractured Dimension and get someone, because we're going to destroy their world anyway. Then the Schism must have split the ancestors of Kresnik in two. With some in Olympias, and some in Rizamaxia. But wouldn't such a major event have been recorded in the texts and oral histories? Good point. It would have been a major historical shift. So someone, either it didn't happen, or someone has obscured the record intentionally. There must be more to this story. How convenient. I'm getting a call about something that will answer the Nia very Kara, question we have. We've detected a new fractured dimension. The rift is near Nia Kara. We've sent you the coordinates. Please take care of it. I heard her say Nia Kara. Is it the next fractured dimension? Yeah, this is perfect. We can bring someone back and sacrifice them in order to get to, um... Oh, the land of Canaan. I, for some reason, I blanked on the name of the place. Maybe they'll know more about Mila Kresnik in the fractured version of Nia Kara. Jude, you read my mind. Well, he also reads your emails. Luger, I want to accompany you on this mission. Of course you do. Me too. All right. I have to say, Luger's GHS always seems to ring at the worst time. What are you talking about? It answers all our questions. It's the it's a like magical, helpful GHS. Now that you mention it, it does seem like someone always calls him when we're in the middle of a conversation. Oh, that way. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It happens so often. It's enough to make me wonder if they're doing it on purpose. They definitely actually could be, um, because the, I would not. It would not surprise me one iota to find out that they've got my phone turned on to where they're always able to listen. Hmm. No, it's not my fault. Huh? Oh, we're not blaming you. You're not the one making the calls. Exactly. That's such a weird. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for it, certainly, but why would I even think I should apologize yes. for it? In this case, the fault lies with those making the calls. Usually Vera or Nova. Stupid four-letter long female names. I swear. Those two need to learn to take a hint. Okay. Mila? What are you so happy about? Oh, you noticed? That's good, Jude. You can take a hint. Um... Not really, because he asked about it. I just wanted to try out a new idiom. I see. I am glad he's voiced more now. I still think that is a really stupid thing. Where it's like, oh, ha, 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 we're going to set this up. Okay, so we've got... Mila can be a healer. You know what? We haven't used Alvin in a really long time. Alvin, get in here. 
I support you. Let's gather what information we can. The Hold Divergence it. Catalyst has to be affecting someone. Let's see if we can figure out who. I, I Obviously, I need to go up there, but... I have a certain spirit who hates Mila Kresnik because of her incredible ability. That's what Ivar said, anyway. Ivar really does love Lord Maxwell. Not as much as a handmaid, but like as a fan. That's what my mom said. So I'm guessing this is Ivar up here. Is that... This is Mila Kresnik. doing weird ivory stuff again he's so weird what is he doing looks like he's eating a rice ball scram merchants you must be the only chump in the world who still believes in the four great spirits maxwell and the spirits are just a fairy tale invented by grown-ups you dummy interesting so this world is actually but then why are they still talking about mila kresnik ha! you've proven your own ignorance fools Allow me to school you. <laughs> First of all, this town wouldn't even exist without the efforts of the great spirit channeler Kresnik. Oh boy, here we go. Now he's weird and boring. Let's go. Ipso facto. Hey, get back here. Uh, you can't say ipso facto as your second like stance in a argument. Sorry to interrupt your lesson. Do you know about Kresnik? I've uh sir. And who exactly are you? Yeah, don't be rude about it, I guess. Aha! Precisely what a troublemaker would say. I'll, I'm gonna have to fight Ivor either way. We're researchers interested in spirit worship. Would you consider sharing your expertise with us? Please spare no detail. <laughs> it would be interesting if Mila was just like, four. You're researching spirit worship? Do you have to go to the bathroom? Correct. In particular, the human named Mila Kresnik. Hmm. How could anyone researching spirit worship not know about Mila Kresnik? Oh, we know about her. We just want it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. You're a horse, Ivor. But I'm willing to play along, even if you are suspicious. I'll tell you, but just this once. Thanks, I've... I've... I've never felt so grateful. Good. Your gratitude is noted. <laughs> now, Mila Kresnik was the first human ever to summon Lord Maxwell. She was a singing handmaid and the first chief of the Kresnik clan. What's a singing handmaid? Why don't you sing? I have her sing right now. A singing handmaid? Huh. How strange. How dare you! Show some respect! I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I was just scolded by Ivor. Mila Kresnik had a wonderful singing voice. They're not even trying to not say his name anymore. It said she sang with such passion that even Lord Maxwell fell under her spell. So does that mean this village was founded by Mila Kresnik herself? Alas, no. She died young, before Neokara was built. And that's why Mila was made in her image. The village was founded by a member of her clan. I see. You've been very helpful. Of course I have. Don't you know who I am? I am Ivor, Mila Kresnik's successor as handmaid to Lord Maxwell. Does that mean we can sacrifice Ivor to get to Kanan? Although I w actually wouldn't want to. Even though he's annoying and kind of a one-note character, I still like him. Preserving and propagating the lore of Lord Maxwell is a handmaid's sworn duty. Well, you're not doing a very great job judging by the kids in the village. I must ensure the lore is kept without error forevermore. Even if the heavens be split or the earth torn asunder. Right. Thank you. Ivor! It's back! Come quick! The terror of the Holomont? That thing just won't quit. Hey, it sounds like we get to help it out this place worse. before we destroy it. Apparently, two village kids were seen heading up the Holomont. What? Anyway, you got to get over there. I'll be right behind you. The terror of the Holomont. I've never heard of such a thing. That's probably the divergence catalyst. Now that we got the information we need, we have to destroy this world. Perhaps it's our divergence catalyst. Then we're going to. Makes sense the divergence catalyst is this close to a village founded by um, Kresniks.
All right. So we're going to fight us a terror of a Holomont, guys. You ready? You prepared? You good and prepared and you're under your snare? Alright, I, I don't remember which exactly which exit to the West Beach. Okay, it won't let me warp there. So where is Niakara Holomont? I guess it's northeast. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh my kitty came back! My kitty came back the very next day. Get me Gaius Dumplings, kitty! Poor bug came up here as I'm yelling at Rolo. Ah! Kitty, you're blocking the screen. It's making me lost. Move. Move. Excellent. Guess right. So we'll go ahead and save in our, again, extra slot, not touching the other four. I did, when I first loaded this, I did have a momentary of like, why is, what? Why do I have five slots? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm pursuing Ivor, all right. Ivor is so pursued it, he's not going to know what got, got into him. Got nice pop. Got it. Nope, you suck. It's too bad you can't eat those whenever you pick up another one. Like that, that would be a pretty good thing to add in there. Cat, stop. I love you, Kitty. Keep walking away, and, like walking past, and knocking my microphone over. Not really over; it's on a like mount, but it it rotates because it never got quite screwed correctly. Because I'm bad at mechanical stuff. I got French toast. This is the wrong way, but this is the way to poison stingers. Can't argue with that, can you? Got it. Oh yes, I'll take those. What's that thing I got? The that? that's not my cat, is it? No, I didn't think so. I said that's way too fast to be the cat. I just forget you have to go through the temple. What? That? What's that white thing? It almost looks like a cat, but there are no cats in the Divergence Catalysts. I guess just saying that hey, there's a passage through here. Ivor, why'd you go so far? Darn it. Looks like I got into a fight, you guys. Didn't necessarily mean to, but it is kind of hard to avoid them here. These guys have some hit points. All right. Nice fight. Wow, the little elemental ore thing for a split second made me think that Milo was wearing a hat. Now I have the strength to protect. Guess who just got stronger? Ooh, is it you, Alvin? It's Alvin, isn't it? That reminds me real quick. So I haven't used Alvin in a while. How is he on this front? Good lord.
Yeah, definitely glad I checked. Holy crap. So there's special, which we definitely want. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Obviously, I think you could probably do better things there, but I didn't. So there, deal with it. Haha. -ha. You are slow. I just feel like this is a slightly easier to pass than I've previously run into. Here's a bug bug. Haha. -ha. I evaded you with evasion. God damn. I got some ivy. Aha. Rune gauntlets. Are those better for Jude? They might be. The fact that, I mean, because this is an area you can't get to until a lot later in the game. So let's see. They are. Glad I popped in here. Little surprise I made it through there. I'm not gonna make it past him again. I I thought I might have missed the path up. The hell is that? Oh, we can run. There's just no reason to. Exactly, see? That. No reason to run away at all. Now I have the strength to protect. Man, I feel good. Demon Inferno. That sounds like a like dance move. We got the Demon Inferno. Okay, there it is. Man, the like darker frame of this distorted dimension definitely made this kind of hidden. And hey, another another little side area. I love the side areas, especially when there's no monsters around. Because not only is that a good place to hide stuff. Oh, looks like there's no treasure chest here, unfortunately. But since there's no monster nearby, I can come out with impunity. Dang it, really? Damn it. I obviously... If, I mean, granted, I'm probably going with Jude and Mila, but I probably do need to go Come look into something for Alvin. Is what Luger said, right? Huh? I'm getting stronger. We are getting stronger. You are correct. So why did the kid come all the freaking way up here? Like, I'm sorry, this is natural selection. Don't go to the top of a freaking mountain full of monsters and be like, Oh my god, I'm in danger! Well, you're the one that wandered out into places you knew was going to kill you. And you didn't believe in the four. No need to cry. I will save you. Trust me, as handmaid to Lord Maxwell, it is my duty to protect you. You fools! Why would you come here? Look out! Uh. Oh. 
Aren't those the four great spirits? Hey, you recognize them. Well done. We'll take it from here, Ivor. Ready? Man, the terror of Lord Hall or of Hollowmont definitely was not expecting this. Ow! I don't know what you're doing, but stop. There we go. Yeah, you're getting power hit now. Here we go. I figured, even though I kind of wanted to use Alvin for his finisher, this is a fight the four need to be involved with. Wait, there's two of them. I love how, like, casually this fight is for me now. Um, I, I shouldn't say now. I haven't fought this thing before, I don't think. But I'm just like, oh, hey, there's another one. Let's kill it. Okay, it's dead. Yeah, I should do the neutral one. If it survives another one, which it may not, because it's down to 73,000. Yeah, that was a bit mistimed on my part. My apologies. Freaking out! Okay, they're both down. Trying to bring in extra copies? Is what I think of that. Alright. Easy as cheesy pie. I don't know why there's cheese and pie, but you know what? There can be. Don't judge. I've grown stronger still. Oh, luminous chamber. That looks special. Now I have the strength to protect. And rampaging dragon. Yeah, I feel good. And you were in the fight too. Wait. Hold on. Is it... is it really you? I'm sorry. I did not mean to deceive you. It is! Lord Maxwell! Forgive my insolence, my lord! Please, allow me to serve at your side from now on! I beg of you! No. I'm sorry, but we won't meet again. That's kind of sad. 
Although, granted, we can't we can't really bring Ivor back and be like, hey, we're going to have this version of Ivor. Can we bring this Ivor back and kill the other one? I that one was a big if on which way I go. It's okay. I understand. I understand, but I don't feel good about it. Well, of course not. I wonder how many more times we'll have to go through with this. I think only one more, because we're about to, as far as I can tell, beat the game. Are you having second thoughts? A bit late now. Understanding it and accepting it are two very different things. That is actually one of the best lines this game has had. I'm sure you feel the same, Luger. Don't take it all upon yourself. That's what I've got you for. <laughs> Jude, that's so like you. Anyway, it's obvious that something soured the relationship between Mila Kresnik and my predecessor. I just wish we could ask the previous Maxwell directly. I mean, we probably could. Just find a um, <laughs> alter dimension where, you know, we haven't killed him yet. But I suppose that's easier said than done. I have expected my phone to ring. I appreciate their parents until they're gone. I'm beginning to see their point. There's a degree of truth to that. It depends on when your parent goes, I think. Because, like, with me, I don't mean to get super somber and emotional about this, but, you know, I think once you get into your mid to late 20s and start seeing the world as an adult, then, um... You, you start to be able to interact with your parents as an adult, as two adults. So the, the like rebellious teenage years are gone where you're like, my parents are stupid, they don't know anything. And you start, you start being able to really talk to them about life and understand all of the things and what they did. But yeah, for people that lost their parents when they were a kid or a teenager, it's not until much later you're, that you're like... My dad actually had a saying. He said, when I was young... My dad was the stupidest man on earth. And it was amazing how every year I got older, he got smarter. <laughs> Until I realized I was the stupidest kid on earth. I'm not so sure that applies here. The Servant of Maxwell. That's actually a decent moment, because I was like, I do want to take this outfit off of her. Like, it's interesting, and I don't dislike it. Interesting. I do think I'm leaving... That's the pink one? Oh, that's the weird color reverse one. I do think I'm leaving that one on. Like, what? I haven't actually looked at this. <laughs> I've never really messed with these, so I've always thought they were dumb. And I still think they're dumb. But I, I, I haven't actually been in there, so I was like, hey, why not? Why not indeed? Luger, when my Maxwell dumplings go up for sale, you can use the proceeds to pay down your debt. Who's going to make them, you ask? Why, you are, of course. Gee, thanks. And Kitty came back. <coughs> yes, we got dumplings. Oh, we must be on the day that we get extra stuff. I do think we still need another three. Um, are they under new? Guy is still, I have five. Okay, I need another two. So he's seven turned that quest in. Man, it is it is it, it is hard getting this stuff. Alright, and with that, there is one other location we have to get to. And it is in Drellin. 
So who awaits us in Drellin? If I had to take a guess, I would guess... I'm actually hoping for Muse, but I doubt it. No, it is Muse. Awesome! Because I, I definitely want her story to get more interesting. And if we're at the end of stories, I, like, I'm, I'm very much eager and uh, interested in seeing where Muse's story goes. Okay, over here. Where's the entrance to the... Okay, found it. So go ahead and save here, and next time we see Muse's story, and hope to God it is it makes more good for her character. More good! Thanks for being here, everyone. I will see you all in the next one.